Okay, guys, I don't know if you can tell that I'm upset, but you, if you follow my channel, then you know I'm a Lakers fan, so this game was rough for me. The Lakers lost to the Clippers. Um, I don't really know the final scores. Honestly, I don't care. Uh, LeBron played a good game. So did Anthony Davis for the most part, but I'm going to get to that later about Anthony Davis because I feel some type of way about how he be playing in some of these games. Kyle Kuma stepped up. I've been waiting on this for a while. Kyle Kuma stepping up was big for the Lakers because of the fact that it gave them extra scoring and it gave them an edge over the Clippers for the most part of the game. And it, and the with the the Lakers kind of neutralized what the Clippers were trying to do, get the perimeter size. They were able to uh, slow down the pick and roll for the most part. Um, a lot of what the Lakers did was great for the most part. But, you know, for the most part, don't win you basketball games, especially when they're close. The Lakers had the opportunity to end this game in the third quarter. You was up by, I believe, 15 points, and you did not finish it out. You became a jump shooting team. You thought you was Houston Rockets. You thought you was either going to shoot a three or get a paint shot instead of driving to the rim and shooting mid-ranges like you were doing to get you the league in the first place. So it is what it is in that situation. But let's continue talking about the Clippers' great performance, quote-unquote. Patrick Beverly, the greatest point guard to ever grace this planet Earth, apparently, um... Had a nice little game. I think he had like six points, like he always does, in like five rebounds. But his effort is so amazing. You know what I mean? You know, had a, had a really good play against LeBron. Man, can't can't be mad at that. I I don't like how he celebrates like he's the greatest thing on earth. Same way Draymond did. But you know it is what it is. You deal with those people. But at the end of the day, he has to see us in the playoffs. And in the playoffs, we know how LeBron get down. So let's see how much he will be laughing then. But, you know, I'm not really mad. I'm not really uh, worried. I'm more co more so concerned. Considering the fact, because, like, I've been through this before being a LeBron fan. I saw this in 2016 when the Warriors beat the Cavaliers twice in the regular season. And then the same year that the Cavaliers ended up beating the Warriors in the finals. You know, it just it takes time. LeBron struggled in this game. He's not going to struggle like this in other games, especially not in the playoffs. You're going to see a better version of him. Kyle Kuma played big, the, the team played well, you know, you wish other guys, you wish he could have made more shots, I wish Danny Green would have stepped up more to the plate, you know, his, incons his inconsistent shooting has been a bit of a concern for the Lakers, but hopefully he can get it on track at the right time, because right now, who cares about a regular season game, you know, people are going to try to crown the Lakers or the Clippers if whoever would have won this game. And, you know, they're going to try to get the championship and people are going to try to make the narrative of LeBron is scared of Kawhi and he's scared of PG, even though LeBron played well in the, in the fourth quarter despite PG and Paul George being in the game. Um, they're going to say AD is scared of the moment. They're going to say the Clippers are a better team, all that, da, 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 da. That's cool because at the end of the day, you got to go play in the finals. You know what I mean? That game doesn't give you anything in the finals. So it doesn't give you nothing in the playoffs either. So. You still gotta go play that game. You know, the Clippers just finished the game better because they had they had to fight and they had the heart and they had the defense and they uh executed the game plan. But the Lakers didn't do it do any favor toward themselves shooting a bunch of three point shots. You know, you got LeBron James shooting 12 threes out here like he's Steph Curry. You got Anthony Davis who is 250 pounds, six foot eleven, with a seven six wingspan. But apparently he never he 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 wants to shoot jump shots. And he always wants to shoot jump shots. Or he wanna to drive to the rim. Or he wanna be a shooting guard. It's like he wanna be a big old shooting guard. And it's irritating because it's like dog, it's points in this game where you know you're bigger and better than everybody else on the court, especially the guys that were guarding you. And you have to be able to turn around, get your get in the get under the basket, say, give me a ball in the post, go in, turn towards the basket, not out of the basket, if y'all understand what I'm saying, turn towards the basket and dunk it or get fouled. But doing all that turning, then turning back, then shooting the shot, shooting, shooting, facing up and shooting all the time, it's not going to win you a lot of games. Uh, especially not in the clutch. Like, you got to be able to just take advantage of your size, man. You see, you bigger than better than everybody else. But and you got to be more. Sometimes you got to be Shaq, Shaq on it. You, sometimes you got to be. You know, you're not Shaq, obviously. But sometimes you got to do what he did. You know what Shaq did. Shaq wasn't facing up and all that stuff. Sam was gonna play well and he was gonna do what he needed to do with his team to win. It was that simple. But at the end of the day, what you can tell is, is that Anthony Davis feels like his best way to play is by doing the pesos and doing all that stuff. But you know, like I said, at the end of the day, he lost you the game today because in a crucial time in the game where you could have posted and drove and kicked it out to a shooter or got the foul when you're down four, he decided to take another jump shot and he missed. And it was a contested jump shot with multiple, it was a contested jump shot. So you gotta look for the best shot 
and you gotta be able to make those take advantage of your advantage that you have over the team that you're bigger and you're more dominant and better than those guys and that hey i can post you up and take you to the rim and either dunk on you or turn around drive and fade and you know and just get a, get a foul or get an easy layup so you gotta be able to do that man sometimes you gotta be set you gotta start trying to be uh uh Dwayne Wade or Kyrie Irving like I get it you got handles I get it, you can shoot but stop facing up all the time get to the basket put your you know what I'm saying put yourself towards the basket go down there and be a big man okay I know you don't like being a center but be one sometimes be a big man be physical get up in there same thing with the White Howard, the same thing with Javel McGee. You got the seven feet tall. Stop trying to do hook shots. Be big man. We supposed to be, we have probably the biggest big man core in the entire league. But we want to do hook shots. So that way it kind of takes away from the advantage. Like what's the point of having these bigs if they're not going to impose their will, put their back towards the basket, back, you know what I'm saying, and drive to the rim and get these easy layups and these easy dunks and get fouled. So they're dominant that I'm bigger than you, I'm stronger than you, and I'm gonna take you to the rim. So they gotta be able to do that. You know, the Lakers shooters gotta be able to shoot, and LeBron gotta be smarter than that at the end of the game. You got Patrick Beverly on you, and you trying to do a hezzy. Uh, you guys, you trying to do, uh, trying to go to the right and do a pull up jumper. But it's like, dog, you should drive that, look for a shooter, or just kick it out to somebody that got a better shot at it than you. I would have kicked it out of cool. I get it, LeBron. Get LeBron James. You had a smaller defender over you, but it wasn't about that. It was about making the best play like you always had. Who cares what the people gonna say if you if you t- you pass up that shot? If you pass that shot out to cool and he make it, then we looking at a uh, bet. We looking at a closer game than the Wolves. But like I said, you know I'm gonna say about it. But the Lakers gotta be more aggressive. You're too big and you're too dominant to not be aggressive. Their team is built to drive to the rim and kick out the shooters. That's what their team is literally built for. Drive to the rim and kick out the shooters. Now they can get the mid range, they can shoot, they can be a perimeter team at times, but that's what you wanna do. You wanna drive to the rim, dominate in the paint, and make them put bodies in the paint so you have shooters. And your shooters have easier shots. That's what this team is made to do. And they were doing it for the beginning of the game and they did it to get a 15 point lead and then they stopped doing it and they just kept shooting, kept shooting, and kept shooting. And instead of driving first, your drive first team, then when they bring bodies, that's when you pass out the shoot. Don't just be shooting and shooting and shooting because that's how they came in. And it is what it is on this situation. And they also got, they look weak out there, you know. I, and you know, like LA is gritty, man. That Lakers, that, that Clippers team is gritty. They're not Hollywood. They're not making all these fancy commercials. They're not doing all this extra stuff. They are pretty much stone face killers. Like, facts. Patrick Beverly want to take your heart out. Uh, Kawhi Leonard doesn't have a heart <laughs> so you know like that's what they want to do man they just want to win and you know we gotta have that same will we gotta have the same mentality and I hope that the Davis understands that because like I said man you got the advantage over those guys you gotta be able to be like okay I'm not Shaq but I'm good enough and I'm big enough to where Patrick Patterson is guarding me or Montrez 6 9 Montrez Harrell is guarding me or even Zubak who's not as good or I can easily fake him out because he's not as a great athletic defender let me drive to the rim and get this foul let me drive to the rim and get this double team let me drive to the rim and get this dumb because that's a bucket i know for sure i can get and on top of that it's the best bucket especially in times where we need one when you in games like this you gotta go get a bucket when you need a bucket and i feel like sometimes ad shined away from that and even lebron shined away from that and that's where a lot of people come back if you up 15 and you drive to the rim and you got LeBron driving and getting fouled, or he driving and kicking out the shooters, then you ain't gonna have no problem. But if you playing around and just doing a regular, regular every day, and you just driving, and you just shooting and shooting and shooting, it's like, dog, that ain't gonna win you nothing. Like, stop shooting. LeBron, you're not a sharp shooter. AD, you're not a sharp shooter. You guys are big men first. LeBron is an inside scorer more than he is an outside scorer. So you up 15, take advantage of the fact that you up 15, keep going inside. Keep making it hard for them to defend you. Don't don't make it easy and shoot jumpers all day because that's what they want you to do. They knew that if they were just gonna shoot jumpers, we gonna come back into this game and we gonna win. And the Lakers allowed them to do that. So the Lakers deserve what they got in their game, a nail. But they gonna have to bounce back and hopefully they will. And like I said, you got time, but you need to figure it out, man. And I hope that they go get easy too. Cause they need more defense and i'm be honest casey p way well today 
Um, Cal Coon played well today, so I don't really know where Iggy fits, but they need to start playing them more. They need to go get them, man. They can use the extra defense. But this team is good enough to win the championship. You saw in that first half and even in that third quarter when they were up 15 that this team, talent-wise, and if they're aggressive enough, and if they can beat the, this Clippers team. Any, any team can beat the other team. It's just about whose game plan is better, who's going to be more aggressive, and who's going to play defense and who wants it more. That's all it comes down to in these games. It's all, it's all it does. If this was a playoff game, I think the Lakers would have won, but it wasn't. It was a regular season game, and I feel like they took it kind of like a regular season game, and it is what it is, man. So, I'm out.